Banter Podcast with Paul and Jettis. Right about now, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to get yourself and your soul together. This man will make your liver quiver. This man will make your bladder splatter. Let's all welcome the world's godfather of soul. Paul and Jettis. Uh, it's Geddes, actually. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the General Matter Podcast. Uh, still sound like I've got long Ebola, but we're here. My guest today, on request, Rory Woods! Yeah. Do you know someone asked in the in the Patreon questions last week, how's Woodsy doing? Oh, really? Just, Just how's some it? random was like, how's Woodsy doing? I was like, I think hey, he's doing the very best. He's yeah. well, yeah. Yeah, credit rating's good. And credit rating's good. Body fat's a wee bit lower. And <laughs> you look wild skinny last time I seen you. I've heard that from a few people. I think it's just walking my son to him from daycare, just the weight's falling off me. And then I bought a pair of jeans recently and uh, <laughs> tried them on and they were grand. And then I left uh, TK Maxx and they fell down to the ankles. So uh, I went down a waist size and everything. Uh, well, you look, you, look, you look good now. Yeah. When I seen you the other day, I was like, geez, you look skinny. Yeah, I know. I, to be fair, I've had a few days of myself over Easter, so <laughs> it's literally just been KFC. I'm not even... Exaggerating, I've just had KFC. I've had the same driver on Just Eat twice, and he's looking at me going, not skinny for long. Mr. Woods, please. Yes, no more wicked zinger for you. <laughs> <laughs> Chill out on the one piece. I fuck it. Are you comfy? Are you comfy? Yeah, I'm comfy as fuck. I can, uh, I can be happier. Yeah. Can't smile wide enough. <laughs> I know. It's a, it's a, there's a stigma around town. Someone that looks skinny too, isn't there? Oh, yeah, for sure. But it's a lot, you can t- you can say it out loud. Yeah. A lot better. You can go like, you look skinny instead of being like, yeah. yeah, no one says to your face you look fatter, unless you're an absolute cunt. <laughs> you be bulking up, are you? Like, or foreign, foreign yeah. people. Like Dutch Frank there, his, it's like his whole family, that they just can't wait to see you to see if you've gone up or down in weight. Really? Just they're obsessed with the weight? Like right? you, I, see, I notice you have put on two pants. <laughs> fat, fat bastard. Yes, chill out on the wicked zinger. <laughs> yeah. You'd be down in a hospital bed and they'd be like, I notice you have lost a lot of weight. Is this something to do with your health? And you're like, yeah, yeah. I'll be dead in a week. <laughs> yeah. Junkies and botanic. I notice you're shooting up quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's contributing to the weight loss. And you're like, what are you, fucking Dutch cunts doing? Just sitting, being perfect? Yeah. You waffle eating hers. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> I mean, like, a sort of decent waffles, not just, you know, potato birds eye. Yeah, uh, they're, not just, they're not just sitting over the fucking toaster, toasting <laughs> them. Oh. You know, on those, like, boxes of waffles, it's always the waffle on a fried egg. I don't know anybody's ever had that, ever. I don't know if there are any adults ever eating it. You know, it's usually just someone... Frisbee yeah. and a child going, yeah. if I could eat something. Yeah. Please shush. I mean, eat something, you eat dick. Yeah. Enjoy your YouTube videos of vegetables dancing. Yeah. I don't mean like in a Strictly Come Dancing way. I mean like legitimate, <laughs> <laughs> like an aubergine doing the tangle. I got to say, there was like a Strictly Come Dancing video with uh, folks in wheelchairs doing the, doing the rounds at uh, sort of house parties Yeah, that I was at one time and people yeah. thought it was very funny and I was like, this is discrimination. Yeah. But I it was I, funny because, but it was like, it was like high end sort of wheelchair ballroom. Yeah. So they were fucking, they were doing all, the, they were whipping them in circles. Like, <laughs> Yeah. What was, what was it, was it just proper, like, was it a tango or was it? Yeah. Breakdance of the worm. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was like, they'd have one partner who, you know, was uh, able-bodied yeah. and they were fucking doing all this shit and they would just grab some by the hand in the chair and be like, give them the fucking, yeah. give them the whirly. It'd be very hard not to feel very arrogant. Do you know what I mean? When you're like, I'm sitting here and I'm doing backflips and, Spinning on my head, and you're you can't even <laughs> eat soup unassisted. <laughs> no, no, there's none of that. Yeah. <laughs> there's none of the hawking. Yeah. Of, mm, that would be cheating. Yeah, that definitely. Would now be these cheating. ones are these ones were making it happen by themselves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the one the one dude was just fucking spinning this guy yeah. like in circles. But what else can you do? Yeah, donuts basically. What else can you do but spin them around? <laughs> <laughs> oh, a lot of back and forth. A lot of yeah. parallel parking. On. You can do like a handstand on the side of it. <laughs> Do really? Dips. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I can remember being at house parties, people sitting around being like, isn't this funny? And I was like, man, even even for me, this is right. rough. There's you know, a line. There's a line. <laughs> and I'll show you. I'll show you it later. Yeah. Here, let me, see before we go on, let me read you. Obviously, uh, last week I was promoting my, my gigs. And then I lost my voice. And I was like, very emotional about it. But uh, those have now been rescheduled. Dundalk which I'm doing on, on the 7th. Fuck, that's the end of the week. Uh, sold out, 14th of April. I think there's a few tickets still there for that, and also in Dundalk. And then, the gigs that I was supposed to do over Easter have been rescheduled. 
So 8th of June, we're in Drogheda at the TLT. Really? Tommy Larry Theatre. Tommy Larry Theatre. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Isn't it? <laughs> I don't know who that is. Who's Tommy uh, Larry? I don't know. I'll have to Google it. And then 13th of June, Limerick, Dolan's. 14th of June, Galway at the Roshain Dove. 15th of June, Cork, Cypress Avenue. Just had to say that. There you go. What you fuck up, Terry? That's it. Just had to squeeze that in there up top so that people, people fucking know about it. Have you done any of those places before? I know you've done Roisin. I've done Roisin. You know, there's pl plenty of those places I haven't done. Uh, the likes of Limerick, I was very panicked about the tickets. Mm -hmm. But then when I actually went got around to cancel the gig, they had sold pretty well. Oh, really? Is it Dolan's? Dolan's. No, Dolan's. Dolan's and Limerick. Yeah. Have you been to Limerick? No. It's lovely. <laughs> no, it's fucking... I mean, I mean, even, you know, if you go to book a hotel, even on, like, TripAdvisor or... or Something like that. Yeah. They they managed to make the hotel look nice. You know, they take yeah. a photo of it on a nice day. The Limerick one's terrible. Yeah. I stayed in the Clayton in Limerick, yeah. just to be sure, because I, I was down doing Dolan's one night, and there was like six people at it. Um, but the hotel was lovely. But sure, that all the Claytons are the same, aren't they? Yeah. You know what I mean? The wank bunker that is the Clayton. <laughs> I, I don't mind the Clayton, though. Oh, here it's fine. I like, a, I like a hotel room that knows what it is. Yeah. Do you know? I don't want you to be trying to be too fancy. Hmm. That makes or sense. any of that shit. Just fuck it. They just know that you need a bed. Yeah. You know. I like temperature control in the room now. Yes. I, say, I like sort of yeah. getting the room to myself and then having a certain temp. Yeah. You could lie on the stomach, howl in the air, <laughs> and just <laughs> and just let a big <coughs> gust of wind. Our McCann's ringing me here. Dan, so this live in the podcast. You do indeed. You do indeed. Hold on. Let me see. Hey, how you going? Aaron, I'm I'm in the middle of a podcast for a Woodsy here. Oh, not so bad, not so bad. Oh, cheers. But I'll give you a jingle later on. And tell young Rory I said hello. Oh, well, uh, are you in any immediate uh, danger or anything that I need to know about? Or are you just calling? No immediate danger. That's good. Are you in bed? No. No? No, I'm in a meeting myself here. You're in a meeting? <laughs> no, I'm in bed. <laughs> <laughs> Meat and ham? <laughs> Am I right? Meat and tatters? <laughs> <laughs> Meat all blistered up. Uh, I'll ring. <laughs> give me a jingle after so the cracks in it. I'll, I'll, give you a, I'll give you a jingle then. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Alright, love you boys. Have all a good right, I love see you. See you later, mate. Who says, give me a jingle? Give me a fucking, jingle. Like, you want ding, 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 ding. Well, this motherfucker, you know, in his household, they've got a, they've got a, they've got a bed beside the phone. Have they? So they've got a phone on the wall, old school style, and then they've got like a chaise lounge. Is that how you say that? Chaise lounge. It is now. I think chaise lounge. Chaise lounge. Yeah. Uh, they've got one beside the phone, so they just sit there like, well, I'm at fuck all. What are you at? <laughs> Even just having a house phone's weird to me. Yeah. Like, there's a phone stuck to your wall. But he does live with a seven-year-old woman, so... Yeah, that's true, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's such a weird dynamic, isn't it? Like? I think a a, docu a good documentary would be uh, just the fly on the wall in his house, him walking around yeah. in the boxers with his ma shouting at him. And Tyler the creator blasting, and she's trying yeah. to make crumpets or something. <laughs> she's like, what is that ballock shirt? Or, or she's heard enough of it where she likes it. <laughs> she's, she's I like it. Put on, on who that boy? <laughs> fire on Lock and Ellie, would you? Who's that boy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of documentaries, have you seen that Nickelodeon thing? No, I've sort of looked into it a wee bit. Oh, okay. It's all got in like this clusterfuck of like like Diddy, P. Diddy, Donaldson, yeah. Hawking on the FC and yeah. then the Nickelodeon thing. It's all... Yeah, like I can't keep big, up. It's all a big cloud of non -sorellas. Well, I'd like to issue a public statement to Dan <laughs> Schneider because you let me talk away about it, Dave, the other week. Turns out, turns out Dan was just a bit of an asshole. You know, I didn't know it was the other dude was doing all the fucking, you know, nonsense about. He was hands on. Ah, he's yeah, he's a boy. Total, yeah, total cunt. Like, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Did he do anything, re you know, hands on with any kids, or was that the other guy who worked in the show? Wank off the potato. Wank off the potato. Aye, but the, the other the other guy that was like involved with uh, Drake Bell. Yeah, no, I thought that was Dan Schneider, so I'd like to issue a public yeah. apology to him for he's, he's a big fan of the show too. He is a big sweaty nonce, but the other dude, legit, you know. Yeah. Legit. He got stuck in. He's he's about it, about it. Yeah. In the nonce world. It's just it is, it is really hard to keep up because I don't really read into a while lot of it because I just know the basics. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's obviously just it's just abuse. But because it's all been lumped in with Donaldson, like yeah. I seen somebody talking about it at like a comment on I think it was Insta, 
And I was like, it's fucking ridiculous between Hawking, the smart, and like, you no know, people trying to be funny and they make an arse yeah. of it on Instagram. And somebody wrote, oh, it's fucking ridiculous. All the sort of, every day there's like a new nonce that's just appearing. Do you know what I mean? And it was somehow I wrote that fucking ridiculous between Stephen Hawking, um, P. Diddy, and that rapper. And I was like, I don't think Jeffrey Donaldson was a rapper, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> So he just lumped them all. Jeffy D? Yeah, Hundy MC. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that, and that's the way it is, so it is. <laughs> it's like that, the way God intended. <laughs> oh. Run D U P mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Dude incredible. looks like a toddler. <laughs> I know oh. it, it, do you know what annoys me? And I, like I don't know uh I don't know. I mean I mean, this is me making, you know, all, all the filthy jokes of the day. Yeah. Why don't they, why don't they step down, say nothing, and then go to court for it, and they sort it out, mm. and then you talk about it? Yeah. Because what they do is they go, Jesus, he's been fucking let go for, you know, historical abuse claims or whatever, and then everyone goes mad with it. Yeah. Everyone's like, everyone's kind of like, well, we don't know the real ins and outs of it, so we'll just fucking make jokes about it all day and fuck about it and, you know, whatever. And you're kind of like... You know, it's it's kind of like you you don't know what's actually happened because at some point someone's gonna make like a hundred jokes and then they're gonna be like, oh yeah, you know, he actually abused like fucking whatever, and you be yeah. like, yeah, yeah. I think it you does know? it does get lost in the ether of like people talking about it and taking the piss out of it that the actual fundamental yeah story gets completely lost. Even like yeah. like even the Devonish thing, you know, really it was wasn't really that big a deal, but. You see people going, apparently they were going about the devilish with like the decks out, and it was like the Coke dispenser and Wellerspins. <laughs> like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? And you're like, but what's the basic story? Like, a couple of naked lads, that, that's what they do. Yeah. Like, that was not yeah. a weird night for them. They didn't, put, so, the, they didn't put the cello down and pull their cock out. <laughs> <laughs> Hold this oboe, would you? <laughs> no, this one. <laughs> this oboe only has one hole in it. <laughs> but yeah, but there, I don't know, there's something, just something about it for me where it's like, you know, like I, you know, in our line of work, you're like, yeah, I feel like I should be writing jokes about this now, yeah. and I, and I'm just sort of like, I don't know, not yet. You know what yeah. I mean? Just like you don't know what the fuck's happened because you're gonna make like a bunch of silly jokes, and then yeah, if you're sort of worth your salt, you're just waiting for a decent angle on it because fundamentally, it's like once the news breaks, everybody's gonna have the same comedic take on it. So yeah, it's better to just let us sit for a bit and be like, what's a better way of approaching this? And, and no, you know, maybe maybe people have are a bit a bit wiser about it now, but no one's really jumped on it, like, from any other parties or any any other big figures, you know, they're kind of just like, okay, that happened, let them fuck off. Yeah, let them bounce. You know, it's just a, a good way of, like, sweeping it under the carpet, I suppose, but then it doesn't help that, like, you have people that seen him in the airport shortly after he was, he stepped down, or, you know what I mean? People are like, oh, fucking not Sarah at the airport. You're like, well, he's still allowed to travel, like. <laughs> yeah, let him get one trip to Tenerife in before he's banged up for life. Uh, jet too, don't know what I mean? <laughs> That's the thing even about it. Hey, Jeffrey, stay in the house, lad. <laughs> you know, don't be like, oh, just that's wild crack. I know I have two weeks yeah. of my life booked. <laughs> I'm way on. Yeah. It definitely was premeditated. It was like, I'll step down, but I definitely wouldn't mind uh, hitting the Isle of Man for a bit. I'll, st <laughs> <laughs> I'll step down. Uh, what's a good date for that? Well, we have a package holiday here. <laughs> coming up so I'll step down the day before yeah, there. where he's like basically saying I'm going to step down because of these historical cases of me abusing kids while he's on Skyscanner going oh if I fly the Thursday it's a bit cheaper you know? uh, <laughs> yeah. do you well, want more leg space do what, you want them? one way ticket to Thailand <laughs> yeah. just never coming back by the way I'm nearly sure he was in here the other week was he not Donaldson aye what doing the pod I'm pretty sure he was doing another podcast in this building. Yeah. And he, Patreon exclusive. Patreon exclusive. <laughs> ah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Or else I've got that. I've got my politicians mixed up. Yeah. But I want to say, I want to say he was. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, his, his eyes were opened in here probably. I'd say so. That's where the battery was going on. Uh, yeah. He sees the neon lights and he's like, oh, this must be class. a lot of sex going on. <laughs> The red, the red light district yeah, no. of West Belfast. Yeah, imagine that. Oh God, it's the smell of gammon. Jeez, I know it's. It, uh, there's a wild lot of nonsense going on. You know, it's yeah. fucking. It the, is mental. The P did he think? I mean, I think I, I was I was listening to Tim Dillon, who we're going to see tonight, but he was talking about P Diddy and all. And he goes, just I mean, he's like, how many whores are there out there? 
yeah. that you can do these things. Why have you just sex traffic people? Yeah. Why can't you just get professionals who, and then he goes like, oh, Kelly, piss on an adult. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a good point. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But, yeah. it's, but then, then uh, that'll, you know, it makes you think like that's not really what it's about. It's more like the par probably of doing yeah. it, do, yeah. doing the nasty thing to someone who fucking doesn't have a, can't yeah. say no. But whoever or Kelly passed on, was it like young Wayne's or was it like teenagers? I haven't really looked at Oh, it was like a teenager or something? Yeah, so because I was wondering like, you, you would want them to acknowledge the act. Do you know what I mean? If it was just like a, a toddler, they probably wouldn't see it as a big deal. Because my toddler's pissed on me plenty of well, times. So. Oh yeah, what would you yeah. say? Is if you're going to piss on anyone, <laughs> piss on someone doesn't even know what the piss is. <laughs> exactly. Make sure that you know they don't really know the, the severity. Like, of it. A roll, teenager, but like that's man. Rolling up on a play school. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that, by the way. This podcast is going yeah, out of fucking control. Exactly. Jesus Christ. But yeah, it just it seems to be. I mean, you know, no wonder all these pages on Instagram are going like this is hope core, and here's someone here's someone rescuing a dog. And all. You need that. You need oh, to have the counteract the fucking 15 nonsense you just got. Yeah, you just you find out about that day. You need the feel good factor. You do? You know what I mean? I love the, I see videos at the minute of people putting Gordon Ramsay in, in films. It's a new show. So it's like, here's Gordon Ramsay in Avengers Infinity War. <laughs> and I uh, near collapse laughing. Uh, just like, it's no, on YouTube? It is indeed. Gordon Ramsay. And, 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 and Ramsay and obviously. We were just checking out Katie Hopkins there. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Scotland's turned into North Korea. Can't say anything. Uh, Gordon. I can nearly spell. spell. Ramesty. I'm screen recording. I don't keep him all my spell mistakes. Cut them out. Go on Ramsey in. You've actually wrote Giordan. Giordan. Like, he's like the Italian. Giordan like. Ramsey. Yeah. This thing here. Uh. <laughs> 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 that is loud, bro. You're standing there, you're screwing me, and you're fucking useless. <laughs> what are you doing? Fuck it up out of here! Get out! Get out! I love it. You've now just confirmed in my mind you're not trustworthy, so fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck off. Absolute fucking useless. <laughs> Listen, 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 fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, get out! <laughs> oh my god. You're gonna blow fire in your face, you fucking donkey! <laughs> donkey! He'll die alone, as will you. Don't fucking dare. Don't fucking dare. <laughs> missy, Missy, come here, you fat mouthed little stupid <laughs> <laughs> Are you? What in the fuck are you doing? <laughs> fuck off, will you? <laughs> fuck off. Fuck off, all of you. Get out. Shit beginning, shit middle, and a shit end. Get out, get out, get out. Get out! Like someone took a time to do that shit. That and is I, unbelievable. I don't know if I was just monstrously hungover, but I near cried laughing. <laughs> you fat mouth, stupid little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that is fucking incredible. Well, he's back doing stuff now in Kitchen Nightmares. He's back and stuff, I believe. Go oh, good. Yeah. Reunion. Reunion? Yeah, it's brought, brought it back. That's the best show of all time. Kitchen Night. Which one's Kitchen Nightmare? He just goes in and goes like, these are fucking shite. And they're like, oh, we can't make any money. And you're oh, like, yeah, yeah well, your pizza tastes like AIDS. So <laughs> sort that out. You can't even do a fucking toasty and you're just worrying about why he's aren't making any money to pay bills. Where he must eat it as well. Ah, oh, there's yeah. mold on the fucking prawns yeah. and then he eats it anyway. Yeah. Hey, they don't eat it. Yeah. Did you watch any, we've talked about the bear quite a bit, did you ever watch Boiling Point? Did no, I never got around to doing it. I think they're definitely more legit representations of kitchens and stuff. Like, there couldn't be that many restaurants that are so badly run. Do you know what I mean? In this oh. day and age with TripAdvisor and everything, like, yeah. we are just going, oh, there's like raw meat in with the fucking, like, sprouts and it's just like, it's all the contamination. You're like, how do you not know that? Well, I mean, you know, like, I, I walk in the back of Lavery's Comedy Club twice mm. a week yeah. and the back end of restaurants yeah. or the whole way up that alley and you're, just, you're walking up being like, I, I'm not going to eat in any of these oh, no, places. Definitely not. No. I walk past and it's hard to tell what establishment it is from the back. Yeah. Because it's all just open doors with like chain link. In, exactly, in yeah. And I walked up one day and a, a woman was holding a child, a girl, I presume, out 
the door into the alley to, for a pish. <laughs> no, no, really? one's, no one, someone stops the car like the side of a fucking side of a motorway. Yeah. And they like hold their kid up to pish. Yeah. She was just holding the kid out the, in the alleyway pishing. And I was like, it's, it, it's not the most disgusting thing in this alleyway. Yeah. But it certainly doesn't add to it. I don't think I've ever seen, even like what you were saying about the car there, I've never seen that ever. Just holding the, the way out and just let them. Not yeah. moving like they put, yeah. you know, some, <laughs> some, <laughs> in the West Link. <laughs> <laughs> Someone keeps spraying their windows. <laughs> yeah. Like on, on all around about great Balagoli. <laughs> <laughs> No, like you pull the car over in an emergency, like you know, if if it's a girl going to the toilet or uh, a boy needing a shout, you yeah. know, if they like get them under the back of the knees and hold them in like a squat position, really, and just they let them go. I've never had to do that, but I, I would do it. Like, I mean, obviously, of course, if, you if needs mutts, do you know what I mean? For for my child, not for, yeah. not, not for myself, and just feel like your <laughs> your wife needs a pish. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no. Just hold my shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> you will let a child do horrific things in your presence that if it if it was an adult you'd have to kill them oh yeah absolutely do you know what i mean like a fucking like i've, I've been holding eddie as he vomited not as a ba young yeah. baby like as a fucking three and a half year old and yeah. i've held him and i had to hold him close because i'm like if he bokes on the bed it's a nightmare mm. so if i had to hold him to let it go like in between me yeah and like you know if i was an adult i'd disown him forever uh, jonah shot my leg once <laughs> no, like you started, i had him sat my knee he was just like in the nappy in his vest and you know there'd be flaps inside yeah. the nappy if you don't yeah. get them sorted yeah it goes everywhere and i just sort of lifted it and there was just just perfect sweet potato-esque <laughs> quenelle of shite on my leg like it, it couldn't have been any more it's perfect like it was le like a legit like legit quenelle like you want to do the wee scoop <laughs> just lifted him and he was just turning around like, you're fucking welcome they're disgusting like coughing yeah. right in your mouth Eddie's put a, Eddie put his wee tiny finger so far up my nose that it, his nail just nicked me somewhere in my brain and the blood just came rushing out. He was like, Daddy, yeah. what's your nose? And all? I'm like, oh, you fuck. You, you dick. Yeah. You be dick. You get, you get very desensitized just the whole thing because it's just easier to just get on with instead of going on. Right. Crunching things in your ear. Yeah. Tons of that shit. Jonah has a, a shiting spot in our house. Oh, yeah. yeah it, like, it was actually quite polite when you think of it. Like, yeah. apparently it's, it's a good sign, but there's just a certain corner in the house you just stand over there and... The dumping sweet. And, the, and then his, his face turns bright red. And you're like, <laughs> you're uploading a shite on your YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> the Whisper West link is. <laughs> I mean, but he doesn't break eye contact. I'm like, For sure, blink. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Some party you blink, please. <laughs> and he's like, just, is my child about to die? <laughs> <coughs> That's all I do now is like, I'll, I'll save videos for Eddie. Yeah. And they're usually like, uh, they're usually fart related. He's at that age now where it's all fart. Yeah, it's all fart based. So I'll I'll save stuff like, where the fuck is it now? Probably can't. Find, you know stuff like this, where someone's like, I love these. By the way, these fart te fart techniques for babies. A baby's 40. <laughs> There's nothing better though when a baby farts and it's like a human man. Yeah. Fart. It's just this fucking loud thing. We were like, is there a stena line in the distance? What the fuck's going on? <laughs> what age is Jonah? He's, he's two in August. <laughs> yeah, at some point you they, they start doing like, you know, you start to, every, like, every time you get over one thing, there's like a new phase to go oh, yeah, through. It's just, you know what I mean? So it's like, oh, he won't, you know, you'd be like, oh, he won't get rid of a dummy. And then one day he stops the dummy and you're like, right. That's that wee phase that done, and now we're in the phase of oh, the guy, you know, won't shit on a toilet, and then that's yeah. that's a whole process for fucking eight months, no. and it just one thing and the other. But like at a certain point when they're dropping like trucker dumps in a nappy, <laughs> you're like, come on, bro. Yeah, where it is, it's like a kettlebell, you know, this, <laughs> cor this corner kettlebell, <laughs> and you left it. What the fuck did you eat? Even though it's entirely your fault because you're the one feeding them. Yeah, stop giving them fucking chicken bone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because we're breast friends, so it's weird. When they, <laughs> when they start doing like big shits, <laughs> big shits and there's nowhere for it to go. Because it normally would come out in a you know sausage type yeah. shape, <laughs> but it's just nowhere to go. So it just impacts like that. And yeah. then they're like, oh, I don't know, toilet. And yeah. you take it out and it's all just mashed into like one yeah. fucking giant sweet potato with a skin on. Uh, and <laughs> and even trying to deal with that, you know, you clunk that down the toilet and you flush it, the toilet starts coming up and on. And you're like, yeah. oh, fuck, I can't even flush this shit. And you, you always have to look at it too. You can't of course just, you, do. you have to be like, yeah. Check pee. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> check pee. 
Smarty? <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Fuck, did you have a bag of rebels? <laughs> It is funny. There's nothing funnier than uh, the toilet happens to your child. Like, it's funny. Eddie will miss a day, and like, he, Maureen had him on the toilet on his wee seat, and he fucking absolutely dropped the pile. Uh, like, two days worth of shits, and then he got off. But when we had it five poos, <laughs> and sure enough, it looked like five <laughs> men shit in the toilet in a row <laughs> and didn't flush it. Like. Yeah. <laughs> have you actually ever seen anything like that in real life? Like, I, I kind of have when I was a steward at Oxygen. Way back in the day, the staff toilet just shit, didn't, didn't shit shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I tell you what, and when the toilet doesn't work and you're there for a few days camping, you, you still have to shite. It oh, yeah. doesn't matter that there's a severe lack of water or flushing yeah. happening. So it was like you no, know, like a, a student house bin where you just keep topping it up. Yeah. Until eventually it just topples over. You're like, might have to have to this bin now. Oh. And it was like people like very sort of strategically <laughs> shitting in this fucking like portaloo, and eventually <laughs> it just looked like you know there was more shite than portaloo. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You just go, where is it? <laughs> you gotta, you gotta be like, I'll well, sit slightly to the left here because if I shit on top of the pile, it's gonna touch my own ass. Yeah, exactly. Yes. So we gotta shit down the side of it. Yeah, there's no wonder I had to go to a chiropractor. Do you know what I mean? Just like <laughs> stand there like a T Rex, just <laughs> trying to have a dump. <laughs> but to be fair, like it was inevitable because we were obviously working for event sec. You know, we work in the office yeah. and all, and they were just stupid bastards. No harm, least. I don't care. Go. Uh, he lobbed me back. Yeah. Fuck you, event sec. You know what I mean? Couldn't even get my name right. Had to wear a Ruben name tag like a dickhead. Ruben Woods. Uh, I swear to God, like a lilt PR rep. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 but uh, they, you know, you sort of say, like, you'll be working at Oxygen, you have your own campsite, and they even say a full English breakfast in the morning. Now, I'm not much of a diva, yeah. but when you're promised, like, a full fry, yeah. and someone gives you a polished iron cup with mushrooms and beans in it, yeah. and you're like, this is not the suffice at all. Yeah, this is fucking, where am I, the Gaza Strip? Yeah, no, no, so you eat that there, and that's your breakfast most of the day, and you get a sandwich, you pre pack sandwiches, no wonder the shits were... They're not even jam, jam a sausage in it, like yeah. Alan Partridge style. Yeah. Do you want a sausage in a cup? <laughs> no beans in a cup, just fucking jam it in. <laughs> <laughs> Full English, my ass. Yeah. Was yeah, the so festival, festival dumps. The, the, the only... I haven't really been to that many festivals, but... The big ones are like Oxygen and Glastonbury where there's like so much walking and it's hot and everything. You're not really shitting that much. Yeah. But like I, I do remember d during Dizzy Rascal. Yeah. I was like the bass is getting me right now. Yeah. It was bonkers. It was bonkers. <laughs> I had to go for <laughs> a shit. And I, I'd been putting it off because I, I did have a fear of the toilet but once I got in there it was it was actually pristine. Yeah. Uh, you get lucky sometimes. But then and I just I, had a four-day compacted fucking baseball bat come out yeah. of my ass. <laughs> get a whole hurley bat. It was like mahogany. <laughs> it was like rock hard. It's like a piano leg. <laughs> a shillelagh at my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Ruben Woods. You yeah. something about that? It's, uh, it's, I, got, I got very lucky in terms of any <coughs> festivals I went to where I had the mindset of going, try not to shite. Yeah. But then the minute I got back to Belfast and got back to my house, it just light switch and I was just sprinting. Yeah, and I had the cacks off by the third stair. Yeah, you know what I mean. And, you're just, and then fully blocked it. Never blocked the toilet in my life, apart from that. I swear to God, blocked the whole thing. It just yeah, your mind and your arsehole are more yeah. more in contact than you. Oh think. yeah, like a shot in my entire shadow. You know what I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's like, entirely like that. There's something about this office. Like I had, a, I had a busy morning this morning. You know, did a work out. Ended up having to move fucking tables and all with Warren's dad, which I wasn't planning on. You know, you just get out of the shower and he's like, "We have movies." I'm like, "Aye." Yeah. I'm in my good t-shirt, <laughs> you know. <laughs> my one good t-shirt. So, and then, but I think my, yeah, my brain and my arsehole, you know, they communicate as soon as I walk in the door of this office. Yeah. And then it's like, shit now. Oh, uh, they get on the best, do they? They get on the best. <laughs> See, <laughs> if we can, they'll have four or five pisses before we get going. Oh, really? Anytime, yeah. But it's either, it's one extreme deal, or it's either like, your your mind has told your arse, like, oh, you don't need to shit that much, mm. and you can hold it back quite a bit. Yeah. Or you do a shit in public, where you're like, I wouldn't even shit like this in my house. Yeah. Why? Why not? Why are you hitting me with this now? Yeah, with the infinity wipe and the fucking <laughs> yeah, like trying to clean out a thing of shoe polish. Yeah, I, I, I was raising. I was down. I got a wee night in a hotel to myself for Big Pete's wedding two uh, weeks oh, ago. Oh, nice! So shout out to Pete and Emma. Um, Missed the wedding, pulling the fucking rod fuck. yourself. Well, see, the thing is, you know yourself when you have a child, you go for a dump. You, you can't really, you can't milk it. And I mean that in every respect. <laughs> Just scrot milk, but. Um, <laughs> Anytime I, I go for a dump, I'm like, I can't sit here for 40 minutes like yeah. yesterday and just yeah. shit for 18 minutes, but go on TikTok and yeah. watch people get their backs cracked yeah. and like 
black heads being emptied. Um, <laughs> I love those, man. I'm a, I'm a yeah. slut for that. Just, uh. yeah. But then I got the night at the hotel and myself, and I'm like, I can shite at my own leisure and enjoy it. And uh, it was like, as I call it, a ghosty, where yeah. it technically it happened, but there was no evidence of it ever. I wonder if you said to it's so long where it just dried out. No, I mean, it was the quickest thing of all time. It was just like a plop. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> and then I was just like, oh, I'm done now. And I just had to just sit and oh. talk about with Aircon. And oh, ba- back, back to the wank. <laughs> pull, the, pull the rod. Just That big hotel wank. All the tabs open. <laughs> and they're not incognito. Fuck it. No. <laughs> no one's shagging my ass. And they didn't have to give a shit. Phone screen, full brightness. Don't oh, care. yeah. Don't care about it. battery life. Right. Yeah. I've noticed that around these single guys now. They're... You know, Aaron will be sitting in the car beside me with a phone on full brightness. Yeah. At the night time, and I'm like, bro, I can't see. Yeah. <laughs> I can't see anything. I can't yeah. see a wing over your I'll, head. I'll not sleep tonight. <laughs> After nine o'clock, no bright lights, or I'll not sleep at all. <laughs> you know what I mean? I swear to God. Because people are just like, oh, you shouldn't be on your phone before bed. And I'm like, well, I can, but the, the brightness has to be so low that you can't even see the blackhead. You just see what comes <laughs> <in> there. <laughs> You're just in, in the chiropractor videos for the cracks. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, well, th- those are quite good videos because, like, I've been to a chiropractor recently, so I enjoy seeing it. But most of the time, it is they're they're getting millions of hits because the person having her back cracked is hot as fuck. Is absolutely ridiculous looking. Yeah, and they're so, always they always have like uh, semi like sheer leggings on. Yeah. Where when they when they do that like cross your leg and crack your back thing, you're like yeah. I can see her asshole. Yeah, or you could look up her like a periscope, like yeah, a sweat, and just put a penny in her. Yeah, or the bit um, they sort of did the. The sort of noose yeah. thing around the neck, and then just yeah. <laughs> and the dirty's <deputies> fucking slap. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking. I don't know if I'd trust anyone doing that to me. Well, I suppose, oh, you'd have to yank him a neck <laughs> off. Yeah, I think they'd, they'd just go to do it, and I'd be like, "Well, that's yeah. me." Bring the wheelchair. That's well, me. In it. There is an element of you still have to do stuff too. You know, they're like you have to breathe at a certain point, otherwise it won't work. So, I'll, like, I'll I'll forget all the instructions because they say like, "No, keep your shoulders loose," and then. When I do this, you have to breathe and then breathe out. And I'll forget all that and then just, and then I'll be, I'll be hawking then. Just Wait, what were you doing at the chiropractor? I uh, hurt the lower back. You know, the, your the back's issue. fucked. I hadn't, I hadn't had anything for about seven years, and then you know yourself just lifting the child and didn't bend the knees enough, and it was like, <laughs> and I was just like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> the effect of my mouth. And That's not nothing. Worse. You know, I, I did that about four days before my wedding. Yeah, blew my back out. So did I. Not in a sexy way. Yeah, before actually no. Before my wedding, I was doing a hit session about two oh, yeah. days before uh, in my mum's house, and there was some of my nephew's toys, and I was doing there, you know, the mountain climbers. Yeah, and uh, whatever, I had slapped my fucking foot off a toy and I sliced it open. And I had like, oh had my it. god! But on the wedding day, it was fine. It must be that thing that's in your head where you're like, just don't act the wanker. Today. The limp was gone, but then for the reception, just dancing like a twat, but also had a foot that was. Sliced open like a jacket potato. Yeah. Uh, oh, there's some dancing you're right. <clears throat> I, I, yeah. Your body, again, those, those like high pressure moments, your body will like fix itself momentarily. Mm. And then four days after, you're just like, ah, it's oh, yeah. back. Because like when I, when I, my back was really bad. Like the first time I really hurt it. And it, it was the least gangster way of hurting yourself. You know, I'd love to say that it was like, oh, fucking doing jujitsu or something. I literally like was still working at center at the time and didn't bend my knees and lifted a case of limited edition mother for a corner <laughs> and that's a free the back out and I'm like this could have been so easily avoided but what was it in the corner that made it terrible say just red velvet cake <laughs> it's a full best co- golf in the full full cottage. Cottage. just a cottage pie fuck it. Oh my God. and I just left the damn it and I, was, I had to drop them immediately and then also clean up the mother corner because they all busted everywhere oh they're broken gosh. back and then you know like when you're at the tills and people are like can I get 20 regal falter and you had to be like yeah, uh, the, the lower back and left, left the shutter and all that bollocks. Now you can't show cigarettes in shops. Oh yeah, and I had to be like, <laughs> you get to bend the knees to pick up twenty lumber <laughs> baller. <laughs> now I, I remember before our wedding, like me and Mickey went to the gym and I was warmed up and like doing a couple of sets of like kettlebell squats or something and then he was asking me about something and I got up and was like, I'll show you how to do it and then I sort of my body like cooled down. Yeah. As I was talking to him for about ten minutes, and then went back and just pulled the kettlebells up and sank down and just at the bottom and just like at the bottom of the squat, just let go of the two kettlebells. Like, uh, yeah, uh, and just fucking rolled over. I was like, okay, okay, this, yeah. is, this is bad. I and just, I, I remember I could lie flat, yeah, or I could stand up straight, 
and I could bend over fully, but everywhere in between was pain. Yeah. You feel just totally helpless. It's a very strange situation. Oh, God. When it first happened to me properly, it was like, you know, you'd get like a wee spasms and you'd have to stop walking for a bit. Yeah. I stopped in Botanic and uh, some woman actually like came over to see if I was all right because I was just sort of standing there and I was like properly sweating. She'd obviously just left her child at daycare because she just she came over in the pram. And I lived on a university street at the time. And she was like, if you want, I'll, I'll help you get home. You can just jump, jump on the pram and I'll wheel you back. <laughs> And I was like, "There's gen- that's a Belfast thing. There's generosity, but you're like, but fuck up. Uh, you're like, I'm not going to get in the pram and you can wheel me back to the house. As sore as it was, where people be like, how long was that labor? Jesus Christ. <laughs> they just jump in the pram and I'll suck to you. I'm still breastfeeding them. <laughs> you just fucking legs scraping the ground now. <laughs> I'm all right. I want to be the, the prams, that, so I should be facing her. So I'll be going. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking dangly just- toys now. <laughs> Sun's in your eyes, I'll put the wee thing there. I'd, I'd be well comped out. I was imagine, she was, imagine you were like, I please, that would be a great help. And then she's about two minutes down the street and you're like, Yeah. She'd put me in a wee swaddle and all that. <laughs> Wake up with a nappy on. <laughs> the fuck's going on? Yeah, I took a shit in her leg. <laughs> oh my God, what a fucking nightmare. Yeah, that's just such a Belfast thing. Oh. Get my prom, sure. And you're like, I appreciate the help, but. You've took it too far. Yeah. Don't want right. to blow your back. I Bring me an Uber. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't put Bring. me in your Echo Bubba pram. Um, <laughs> Bring me an ambulance. Would be good. Yeah. <laughs> you need immediate medical assistance. More than you. Are you yeah. injured, love? Do you want me to get you the fucking pedal bar <laughs> thing that they get? Yeah. Don't, don't cycle be, you home. I tell you what, I'll just roll you to the Royal. <laughs> there you go. Stop, yeah. a, stop for a pint of rock show on the way. Fuck it. There's like, fuck all you can do either. Other than just sit there till it's better. Yeah. Just lie there's there, it's hard to gauge because some people say you should put something warm on it or something cold, and it, sometimes it varies depending. Mm. So, like, you know, when they, uh, when they say something warm or cold, I mean, like an ice pack or like DP to don't make, just put a bowl of loomy fries in your back or something. Just, uh, I'll get a vindaloo, that'll sort of like. boil in water, just pour, <laughs> pour it over from the cat. Yeah, I know. I, I there's something about your back and your neck and your pussy and your back <laughs> and your pussy where, and your crack. where I'm like, I'm not putting anything cold on it. No, I'm not, I'm not keen on having anything cold on me. Because McCann was saying to me, he goes, oh, I hurt my neck, and someone told me to put ice on it. And I was like, don't put ice in your neck, you yeah. fucking... If you put... I was like, my neck feels fine. If I put ice on it now, then it would be stiff. Oh, yeah, for sure. Don't be, Just fucking keep it warm. McCann with a fucking Viennetta on his neck. <laughs> <laughs> a six-pack of twisters. <laughs> a freaky fit, do you remember that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> freaky fit. <laughs> we gonna put, this is going to bring up something vastly different. Like, but, yeah. Uh, this is bringing up somebody's only fans. Sign is making me sign in. Except all uh, freaky foot ice cream. Oh no, at the wrong. Oh you, st- oh you stupid bastard, freaky. But it is funny the way your body like switches off. Because I remember my uh, my wedding day was uh, it was absolutely boiling. Oh my god! <laughs> Do you remember what freak invented that? <laughs> I it feels like something like you like somebody would draw that. You can't. You couldn't even have that nowadays. Like you know, all the yeah. perverts of the day. Like uh, they've made the big dirty big toe on them. Yeah, like stink a big chocolate big toe. Yeah, there'd be. Yeah, the, everyone buying that would just look like a fucking weird incel. Yeah. Can I get the pack of freaky foots, please? They were delicious, but yeah, and looking back, I'm like, I don't know why you would eat that. Freaky cocks. Um, but yeah, I was gonna say it is weird where your body like switches off because on that wedding day, boiling. It was warm in your wedding day. And I was sweating and I was worried about sweating through the shirt and everything. And then for the actual duration of the wedding, yeah. I didn't sweat at all. Yeah. I was like completely dry. And then as you know, it's you know, after the dinner and the speeches and everything loosened up a wee bit, then I then I really started sweating. Yeah. But my body just switched off and that hundred percent. It's strange. even like when you hurt yourself, you could go on stage at Lavery's and be totally fine. Oh yeah. But then you come off stage and realize your spine is fully broken. Yeah. <laughs> you realize that you're indeed paralyzed. But you, you can do a stand-up set for a long, long time, and it just doesn't factor. Mm-hmm. But the minute you go back into the green room, and then you're just like, your neck goes back to... Yeah, I've done gigs goes. feeling sick, feeling fuck it, like actually like nauseous. Oh, yeah. I've had horrific shit, like diarrhea before a gig, mm-hmm. and not shit myself on stage. Yeah. And shit myself the second I got off stage. Oh, yeah, you have to sprint back. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks very much, you neck. Yeah. All the best. You Take don't even finish the last bit. They're just going to have the call back. Come wait to be right. Yeah, just taking the... 
Have you, uh, I'm trying to think what weird things have happened. I think I nearly had a panic attack on stage once in the limelight. Right. Yeah, it was, it was a particularly rough time in my life. But I remember being yeah. like halfway through the set and like the, it was literally like outer body. Like the yeah. room just went like, and I was kind of like, what am I doing here? Yeah. You know, I was like, what the fuck am I doing on stage? Yeah. This is nuts. But yeah, I've never shit myself on stage. It'll be, be a good closer. Yeah. <laughs> just for the ultimate, like it would go viral, I think. I should have brought my tits in today. I ordered uh, a, a pair of... Double G fake tits for a sketch. Uh, for, for a sketch. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's for the art. <laughs> yeah. Sketching oh. on it with my semen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just going to book these polystyrene jabs. <laughs> Here they're, yeah, they're fucking, you know what I mean? Don't leave me in the room too long with them. Yeah. Realistic. Like, a bit of weight to them, is there? Bit of weight. Is it, eh? And I, I, I didn't know they were so available. Like, uh, <laughs> Amazon has a full, you know, like, drag section. Yeah. Where it's really? all, yeah, you can buy pants that tuck your cock away. You can buy pants that give you a fucking mouse knuckle. Really? Because that's all in now. You know, people are like, I, you know, for years I was hiding the fucking camel toe. Mm. Now girls are like, give me the camel yeah. toe. You want it pronounced? You, you want it pronounced? You want to embrace the camel toe? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes. Not all of them. Uh, yeah. But the, yeah, that whole section. And I, I, I was like, false, false breasts. And sure enough, there was a set. Um, and they were like £35. I went, oh, very reasonable. But that was for like a B cup. Yeah, was that was that prime or was that? It was prime. It was there. It was there the next day. <laughs> yeah. Some per. I was like, I hope this is in a box. <laughs> yeah. But you know, you scrolled along to the the G's and the F's. Yeah. Seventy quid. Was there any reviews on any of these products? No, but I, like I can the idea of someone going off. Thought they'd be bigger. I'll actually, I'll actually look up reviews right now. See, yeah. See what the reviews and the tits are. Yeah, couldn't quite squeeze my dick between them. <laughs> <laughs> Ball bag stuck in between them. <laughs> there was oh, humidity. So one's out. Jeez, I didn't, I didn't envision straps for some reason. I don't know why. I thought they, they were just going to be like, and they actually give you, they, they're like uh, sort of silicone straps. They, they also give you like material ones, so it looks yeah. like a bra. So you're not hurt your back again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll not hurt my back. I'll probably yeah. put them on. They'll be like no different than my own tits. <laughs> there you are. They're a big set of wabs, like uh, full crash. Could be fair to them, like yeah. And you could also get, you know, of course, the there's the 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 mixed race ones as well, which you know I don't want to get. Racial with it, they're well, cheaper. Are they? Yeah. <laughs> so you want to get the set of white tits, seventy quid. You want to get the this, these sort of mixed race tits. Yeah. Thirty quid. Thirty. I should have just got them. You, got, you could have got two. Could have. Yeah. Could have got a two. Could have had a right <laughs> night to myself. <laughs> Who do I fancy tonight? <laughs> You'd probably just use one pair of tits for yourself, in the order, just to put your phone on or something. <laughs> <laughs> Has it got like a like a wireless charger in them or anything? No, but I, t I mean, like just looking at them there, what yeah. would be nice is if you Bluetooth speaker s set them on, <laughs> set them on the ground and just lay down with your like, <laughs> your neck in between them. Just like, oh. who needs a chiropractor yeah. when you get the tits? If they're cheaper than a travel polo, I'm getting them. <laughs> Whip them out on a Ryanair yeah. flight. I don't think they are. Where would I? Where would I? F oh, look, you can get ones that go right up to the neck and everything. There. Um, uh, let me see. Where would I find reviews of that? Oh, reviews. Right there, idiot. Customers like the comfort. There they are. Just Someone's taking a photo, just jammed in a box. <laughs> uh, appearance and value of the sexual stimulation device. Sexual stimulation device? I bought this for a serious sketch. Yeah. Um, look at any sexual stimulation. Oh, look, someone's... Look, I've bust my tits down the middle. <laughs> These are amazing. These are amazing and beautiful and so natural. I had to, unfortunately, send them back only because they didn't look right on me. <laughs> Alex. <laughs> I had to have my implants out due to eruption. Okay, man. Yeah. And, and I mean, what is this fucking therapy corner over here on Amazon? You, you have to send them back, bro. Pardon me. <laughs> <laughs> due to eruption, and I don't like the way I look. So someone had to get someone had a boob job, and they burst. Yeah. And they had to get the fake tits. Oh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> At the next day, photos of the actual people. Yeah. There's Jeff there with the double G's in. Yeah, mid -gen. Just Steve Gill. In between genders. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you feel feminine, gives you great cleavage for a transvestite. <laughs> That's the fucking sending them back. <coughs> Another way, like you can't return certain things if they've been used. Yeah, Do you know what I mean. You you have to use them to see if they're not suffice. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of. I mean, I, I didn't. I looked it out at the wrong angle. Yeah, there's a lot of ripped tits in this, which would suggest to me someone's been going absolutely ham on them. Yeah. Product arrived in poor, scrunched up bag. The box was visibly damaged on one side, and on retrieving the prosthetic from inside the box, uh, the strap was off the prosthetic. It was immediately returned for a full refund. Uh, 
Also noticed was that also noticed there was no care instruction. <laughs> Send me a leaflet to tell me how to wipe cum off these things. <laughs> <laughs> I put them in the dishwasher and yeah. they are no longer a double yeah. G. I like them just steep in the sink. Just for <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Take a dental wipe. Uh, poor quality but good customer service. Split the middle after a few hours. <laughs> Don't bother. <laughs> Yeah, after a pizza cutter. After two hours of denny riding, <laughs> they bust. These feel good when I wear them and are one tool I'm using to come to terms with my gender dysphoria. Uh, it's good to feel them on me and almost feel part of me. They're pretty comfortable to wear and move very naturally. <laughs> uh, look very good, but the plastic film coating is wrinkled and the size is not totally natural. Or the sag. Yeah. This guy's looking... These are all dudes. Well, that's what, yeah. Well, yeah, this I mean, would be, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't? That's the stupidest thing I've ever said. <laughs> Seems to be a lot of dudes buying these fake tits. <laughs> Don't see a lot of women putting yeah. double G cups over their fucking double C cups. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Um, only complaint is I should have went double D as I think the D is a little undersized. But I'll say a great product. I personally like the plastic straps. Adjust well so it fits nicely to little... Little too little awkward to get on, but still worth the money. This one's from Wayne. Jiggling like they're real. <laughs> wow! <laughs> they were discreetly delivered and were very heavy just on their own. I read about swapping out the plastic straps with cotton ones provided. Thank you to whoever mentioned this, as the cotton ones look and feel a lot better. Wearing them now. Wow! <laughs> 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 they're definitely on the heavy side, but they look and feel amazing. And wearing them... Dramatically changes your posture. My boyfriend com my boyfriend commented on how they felt when they he squeezed them. Suffice to say, he couldn't keep his hands off me. <laughs> Saved our marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Squeezing the tits off me. When I was fully dressed up uh, with an appropriately sized bra to keep these bad boys from jiggling all over the place, they made me look, quote, end quote, stunning. But then again, I am a guy who dresses as a woman, and I can recommend them to anyone thinking of getting a pair. Emma W. Useless waste of money. Fit. Must be made for a giant, because... Well, it's made for a fella. <laughs> Christ. Uh, because the under... What the fuck is going on with the exterior noises today? Where's that come from? It's a pretty fucking... Come from next door. I'm trying to read reviews on bra tits here. Is someone taking a power saw, they fake tits. Yeah. <laughs> Send them back. Yeah. Didn't hold... Didn't fare well with the uh, jigsaw. <laughs> <laughs> made for a giant, because the underband goes on forever... Even when fully tightened, it's huge and baggy. Also, others have said the silicone tears really easily, so never been able to wear it. Useless piece of shit. I like, um, was it one of the last ones you said? They were discreetly delivered, so you assume that's Amazon packaging. It's not just them wrapped up in a like standard wrapping paper because people are like, either you bought two fucking yeah. two mangoes or yeah. two really big fucking limited edition Kinder Bueno Easter eggs or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is fully delivered. Say no. Say no. It is funny because... I have had a couple of things delivered where they just put the delivery thing on the box. Oh, yeah. So they just, they, whatever it was, like they just drop a fucking juicer at your house with yeah. a sticker on it. Yeah. But luckily they were in a, in a white box stapled up. Yeah. Is this from like, is this an Amazon product or is it an actual company that works via Amazon? Where they're like, oh, uh, yeah, I would say, I would say it's, man, that noise, annoying. Uh, no, it's a company. Yeah. What are they called? CDS cross dressing show. <laughs> that's not bad, actually. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, new sponsor. New sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is definitely the stupidest thing I've ever said. There, not a lot of women buying these fake tits. <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there you have it. Got my big fake tits. I have some questionable moments when I go to the accountant, and they're like, "Why would you spend four hundred pound and?" Uh, love honey. <laughs> I'm like, well, I've, I've a mate there, Mark McCarney, yeah. and I bought him a big fat ass. That's right. It was for the 300 pounds. For the live podcast or something, wasn't it? Yeah. That's right. He did. And just he got that in the house. Yep. He probably, he probably just uses it for something like practical, functional. Yeah, like it's like, like a, a doorstop in his house. I got to say, like, most people I know would have their cock in it swift. Yeah. You know, but he he's, I think he's the type of guy where he literally just, he, he actually did take it home to the parents and be like, look at it, look at the girl got me. Yeah, that's a big fat hole. That's some crack in it. Yeah, literally. Literally. And then, uh, you know, just, man, that noise is fucking <laughs> so annoying. 
<laughs> it's probably not coming across that much in the in the podcast, like. But yeah. Jesus Christ, they're always doing something, right? Yeah. yeah. I, love, I wonder if like people coming to McCarney's house just to see the, the fake hole, just out of like a morbid cure. Oh, people are coming around for the cure. Yeah. You like stick your finger in that? That'll <laughs> get rid of gout. <laughs> oh. Yeah, give it a good old slap. I mean, it's fu- uh, yeah. Aaron would put his dick in it. I certainly would put my dick in it. You know, Mickey. Mickey would have fucking it in the car. Uh, everybody would put their dick in it, but McCartney, I think, probably just holds a pen in it or something. Mickey would fuck it out of the box. <laughs> <laughs> He'd fuck the box. Yeah, no. just Give him the box. <laughs> yeah. Could you buy a box as well, these? <laughs> <laughs> it's not handy. Like, the, the thing was seven and a half kilos or something. Yeah. It is like, mean, a, it's like a kettlebell. I wonder if there's options where you can buy the blurt separately. Just in, and then oh, asse- fla- assemble it, like flat pack. A flashlight? Twat pack. <laughs> <laughs> That's what a flashlight is. I suppose that is. Fanny in a cup? Yeah. Gammon in a lunchbox. <laughs> <laughs> Just Tupperware full of fucking beetroot. <laughs> <laughs> Turkish delight. But they were, they were getting that. Uh, you know, I remember when it was like sponsoring loads of podcasts, there was ones that looked like, <clears throat> like a can of beer. Yeah, and you, and you screwed the top off and like, <laughs> then a fucking white claw, or whatever. It's like the wee, the wee smaller ones. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we thin ton of coke, <laughs> like the ones you oh. get in the money bar. <laughs> I would love one. It was like a Heinz ten of beans. Yeah, you just took the top off and fucked the life out. <laughs> or just fucked the ten of beans. Yeah, that might feel nice too. It'd be good, it'd be good crack for the ones like if you get the the tens of beer one, you just got those like American hats. You go get the like, tens either side. And just follow the fucking salad cream. <laughs> <laughs> too, too strawed. Yeah, you're down bad when uh, the only lube you have is salad cream. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure no one eats it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem with those things, you know, like, uh, you know, you buy the piece of equipment and then you probably need to buy like f- 10 litres of lube just to have yeah. land about the house. And Jay's fluid and <laughs> stuff to like for maintenance, for maintenance purposes. Melting. <laughs> Gonna melt in that piss. Yeah. You get the blue roll and stuff like that there. I, I would, <laughs> Steam it. I wouldn't have uh, good enough, you know, consistent hygiene with any sex equipment. Yeah. I mean, like, they're they're too heavy for the clothes horse. Really. <laughs> <laughs> Just hang all your fucking, all your cock sleeves out on the on the line. <laughs> well, Deirdre. Are you big in the fence? No, no, no. Really. Some different. <laughs> Just look That's a good try. <laughs> fanny tubes floating about in the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! A lot of them lady on the washing line. <laughs> yeah, behind her they been the stuff like uh, you know when like they washing out the fallopian tubes, and <laughs> get, get the, wee, the wee brush inside. Fallopian tubes? I don't think it does. <laughs> I don't think it's that anatomically <laughs> correct. I imagine somebody left a review. I thought this would have more. I think this would be more legit. This is just this this funny. In a good. cup hasn't had a single period yet. <laughs> <laughs> Severe lack of menstruation. <laughs> Uh, Why did I buy this fucking sriracha? Yeah, that's all the rage now after Saltburn. People getting add out on their period. Do you see Saltburn? Oh, yes, I didn't do. Nah, good. Right. He's a uh, one of the strangest looking, good looking fellas. He is. He is. He, is he, he does look a wee bit inbred. Yeah, you know. But people are into it. That's that's what they're into. Yeah, because you can you can buy like the the, the the bath water. I've seen people. I don't know if it was in April Fools, but I'm sure you probably buy that anyway. Just big jizzy water. Hey, I mean. make your own. Yeah. I'll make you. I'll yeah. make you some. Scrope meal. I'll, sp- <laughs> I'll spaff in a bath. No bother. <laughs> Maybe the worst place to bust a nut ever, but yeah. I'll try, I'll try. <laughs> it like floats past you. <laughs> just, won't, just won't leave the end of your dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's like holy water. Get the fuck out of it. Did I, t- I told you a story. Uh, this is a weird segue about the, the holy water. No. But, um, oh, I thought I, you were going to tell me about that. Uh, that sex party you had in the, in the hotel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I never yeah. laughed this hard in my life. <laughs> they, um, like my in-laws, very recent, my in-laws are like Evish, just outside of Strabane, very sort of like McCartney-esque sort of vibe. Oh, I, thought, so, I thought Evish was like a religion. Yeah, it does sound like. Sounds they're like, Evish. It sounds like a cult, doesn't it? Um, Elvish. But they're all very um, like old school sort of culture vibes, you know, so in terms of dinners and stuff, like it's all very meat and spuds. Mm. But uh, both my brothers-in-law love there and they're very much like into their food. So they're like, I can't have fucking meat and spuds again. So uh, my brother-in-law, Barry, decided to make like a crab linguine right. for everybody. And uh, That's a jump. I know, and Lisa's dad was like, I'll not be fucking eating that. And he's like, well, it's me making it. So either make yourself something or eat what I make you sort of thing. Yep. And uh, 
he was like, he said to Elisa's dad, well, any white wine maybe to pimp this up? And he goes, oh, there's loads of drink in that cupboard. And all, all culture men have like loads of drink in the cupboard yeah. for a special occasion, yeah. but they never drink it. So bear in mind, like <coughs> there's like 19 bottles of Jameson and wine and stuff in this cupboard, waiting for a special occasion. His daughter's got married. He's had a grandchild, all this yeah. shit, and still fucking pristine. So uh, he said to Elisa's dad, go get that fucking white wine. I'll fire it in the crab and go in. It'd be lovely. And uh, about five or six people at it. And... Uh, Lisa's dad said to his partner, you might as well take that white wine home with you because I don't drink it. And uh, it was lovely in that dinner. I'm sure it's lovely to have a wee glass. And he's like, it's just over there. And she went over and it was holy water. <laughs> <laughs> so six people at this crab linguine that was cooked in holy water. Nobody said a fucking word. <laughs> Full thing of holy water. That's fucking holy water. It's probably lying there a month. Yeah, I know. That'll be a new trend to tell you the fucking food bloggers. Uh, today I'm traveling around all these shambles <laughs> tasting their holy water. <laughs> Of the Church of the Immaculate Conception here. <laughs> I've got some tofu <laughs> cooking on site. <laughs> Holy um, water and the crab linguine. It's, but in fact, everybody had it. And just, and not, and, yeah, like... Fucking delish. You know, he's not, he's not going like, geez, that's clear. That's a clear yeah. light one. Is that Pinot Grigio? <laughs> is, it? is that Ernest and Julio Gallo? <laughs> <laughs> Top shelf wine. <laughs> no, wasn't fucking... It wasn't Concord at all. It was Holy Water. <laughs> See that cape in the drink thing? Ah, yeah, didn't Fuck know. that. Uh, See all that shit? Like, I... You know, like, I enjoy buying trainers, but, like, a lot of people buy them and keep them really good. And I'm like, get them on, ruin them. Yeah, you have to use them. Ruin them immediately. Yeah. I got the Maureen's Dad, very fancy, vintage, old bottle of powers. Yeah. Out of that nice. shop. What do you call it? Give us a hand. Give us a hand. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, it was, like, 16-year-old fucking uh, collaboration that they did with the shop. And the guy's like, there's only, like, 200. It was very specific. He's like, there's only, like, 200 and... Mm. 69 bottles of this or something yeah it's always a weird number yeah though. what was the first one just like testing it and being like all right there you go. yeah uh and I, I got one of those because he drinks pars and uh brought it home and i was like there you go and it's a big box and he's like oh that's very fancy yeah you shouldn't have and all this shit and then he goes oh, i'll keep that for something good and i'll keep that for like uh you know, Neve's birthday coming up or something. And I was like, it's your birthday. <laughs> it's your birthday today. <laughs> right now. Get it open the fuck. Like, you're going to wait for someone else's 30th or something. Yeah. Then. They're always like, you like, drink it. Yeah. They're like, I'll wait for a special occasion. Just to I'll wait for someone else's birthday. So I don't feel a like guilty opening this. Yeah. I'm like, get, get, drink it all. It drives me up the wall. That cupboard, Neve, I'm telling you, is packed with stuff. Like, limited, like a Jane of the Jameson Stout edition and yeah. castmates and everything. Yeah. Wait for a special occasion. Like, you're, Weddings yeah, and yeah. The, your funeral at yeah, this rate. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's gonna clean it out at your funeral. How do you like yeah. them apples? Getting stuck in. Yeah. <laughs> now nah, I bust it open in the car. That's right. Yeah, no, I agree. It's like if someone buys you something, do it you should do it immediately out of yeah. manners. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You should have had that bottle of whiskey I got you downed before Vicar Street. Like you should have yeah. on stage. Was that yeah. the Knob Creek? Knob Creek, how did you enjoy it? It's gone, yeah. Yeah. Drank it. Drank it. Uh, I went through it during the Rugby World Cup. I was yeah. having myself wee drinks. That is strong <laughs> gear. Serious like. gear, isn't it? Because like? we'd watched, I think we'd watched the match. There was like a wee bit of a tradition going on where I'd rearrange my garage. We'd like watch the TV and I pulled the sofa around and, you know, yeah. it was all very cosy and we would go there to watch the rugby. Mm. And we watched like, uh, it was like an Ireland match. I think it was the match that Ireland lost mm. against New Zealand. So we're a bit like deflated. There was like another match on the next day and we're like, oh, we'll go up and watch it anyways, you know, since we've been doing it and the World Cup's nearly over. Mm. So went up and watched the thing and I was like, oh, I've kind of had enough beer or whatever. And I poured like two two of those like bourbon and fucking Cokes or something. Yeah. Give one the Maureen's dad and the two of us were sipping it. And it was like waiting to see who the first one was going to be like, can you feel your spine <laughs> anymore? I was like, I had about four <laughs> sips of it. I was like, Jesus, I have pins I, and needles everywhere. What's yeah. going on here? You know, when it's strong stuff, you're like, I can't blink. Yeah. And it was immediate. That's only ever happened to me a couple of times. Like, uh, it happened me with that whiskey where I was just like, boom, just felt it like yeah. hit, hit my legs Sorry, immediately. immediately. And then the other time was in Glasgow. We went to, around that place where we went for lunch. Mm-hmm. We yeah. went for the gay lunch with the cake yeah. and all. There was, a, there was a place above that, like a cocktail bar, and uh, I got one of these flaming zombies where they had the fucking hollowed out passion fruit on fire and like yeah. it has like eight types of rum in it. And I remember just going like, it comes out in like a cup about that size, but it's all filled with ice. Yeah. So it's mainly booze and a bit yeah. of pineapple juice. And I was like, took like a big sip of it and just went like, 
like yeah, fucking yeah. like yeah. powered up, yeah. powered down. I was like, oh god. Yeah, you're like low battery mode. Then we're just they're not even allowed to sell you. Like uh, uh, there's like disclaimers. And yeah, some you menus, you're like, like you're having one. Yeah, you had to get like a stamp on your hand or something. Yeah, but I don't know. you just sign like a waiver or some shit like food challenge. <laughs> Yet one go. It's a Scotland. You'll be nice yeah. on somebody. That was the most uh, camp I think I've ever been when I went for that lunch eve because we had a very nice wee lunch and then ordered two slices of cake and uh, there was a bit of a delay on it considering yeah. the cake is all on display. Yeah, uh, there's no way in my accent to not just sound like a real diva. Where's my fucking yeah, excuse, cake? Excuse me, we ordered two slices of the lemon drizzle. Yeah, and uh, I, I don't see it here at all. Sorry to bother you, but uh, uh, I thought yeah. right now I would be eating uh, the boys velvet, are, but I'm not. The, the shaggers here are jonesing for uh, <laughs> <laughs> a lovely bit of lemon drizzle cake. You see, you know, all these young lads going out touring and all, see once you have a kid and you're out and about, you're just like, do you remember we went to London? I yeah. went, no harm to you. I'm going to bed for four hours and you went, thank you so yeah. much. Thank uh, you so yeah, much. It was a, the sexiest thing you've ever said. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't want to, I was just like, yeah. I don't want to be a party pepper, but um, I'm going to go to bed yeah. for three hours now and you're like, I could kiss there's, you right now. There's been various instances, obviously, where you've messaged me, and it's usually along the lines of, do you want to do, like, Vicar Street or the SSA Arena? But when you just message me going, we'll probably get some to eat in the minute we land and go to bed for a few years, probably the happiest you've ever made me via yeah. WhatsApp. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And you've sent me some very nice messages over the years. But that <laughs> was just like, fuck, man, come on. <laughs> Fucking top lad, I don't know what I mean. I'll never open for you. That's why I love you. It's like, well, that's why I got you a bottle of Nob Creek. <laughs> Thanks for letting me just go to bed for three hours. I felt, I felt like a dickhead that London trip, though, because the hotel, I know you probably talked about this elsewhere, but that hotel room situation, I was just in a Premier Inn, and I felt like I was in the fucking the Hilton compared yeah, to what you were doing. We were like, there's a flamingo, ceramic. Yeah, they, they, you no see, TV, this, no is, this goes back to, I like a hotel to book. To be what it is, yeah. Premier Inn is like, yep, it's budget. It was very close to the venue. All the all the necessities are there. Yeah, you know, bed, TV, whatever. What I'd go, gone for was also because it was close and you, it was really hard to get hotel rooms in London. Was one of these like, oh, it's new and it's a boutique and it's this and whatever. Yeah, and there was definitely you know like six Indian fellas in the lobby data mining or something. I don't know what they were doing, but the the biggest computers I've ever seen. Just yeah. and they're like, there's no way that's for the hotel that yeah, has eight definitely. rooms. Yeah. But yeah, my room had fucking I think it was like you know, people ha have like swinger parties in it and it has nothing in it. No T V, yeah. no nothing. No nothing. Yeah, because I remember you going you got a TV and I was like, oh I, I had everything and if I had, if you didn't have that bag of giant skittles that I introduced to you, you'd have been in the worst form of your life. Yeah. <laughs> You're like oh, giant skittles are lovely though. Yeah that I did have a party I, yeah. A solo party with the fucking giant skittles. Yeah. And then went to sleep with no teeth. Yeah. It was great times. It's weird going like, oh, we're just going to sleep most of the day, but also went for Chinese at three in the morning. Yeah, that's true. And it was outrageous, don't get me wrong. Yeah. Very, very nice. It was great. Uh, I had a great time, but it's weird. We're like, we should be in bed now, but we're eating a lack of wontons. It was just surreal. And, uh, you know, you have enough drinks. Yeah. You can do enough that. You can finish a gig and not drink anything and then have four or five beers very quickly. Oh, easily. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, my God, my God. and then yeah. you go for a Chinese, and it's all very surreal. Yeah. And then you just, you just can't stop eating. Like, that, that, again, that food was good. Anyway. Shout out to our boy Sebastian, who took us out. Yeah, he knew exactly where to eat. The, the guy brought the duck out, and he goes, boss man, <laughs> chop it up, and this yeah. motherfucker just takes out a samurai sword. Yeah, he understood the assignment. Yeah, Sebastian, he's Because he we're like, somewhere to get something to eat around here, and he goes, yes, I know. Yes. We're going to queue for a few minutes yeah. in the window with like live pigs being <laughs> being spin kicked. <laughs> yeah. There's some karate chop alive, fucking hyena. Yeah, there's just a tank full of sea life that you've never seen before. Oh yeah, definitely not. The fuck is that? You yeah. Know, it's, going in a, it's going in a fucking dumpling in two minutes. <laughs> You'll be eating it. You'll be fucking eating it. You'll be in a pancake shortly enough. Oh Jesus. Here we better, uh, we better wrap this up and go over to the Patreon I think. Oh. Have you any big gigs coming up, would say? Not really. <laughs> so we'll see you next week. <laughs> well, usually, like, there's usually something. I'm just, I'm, it's more so I am back, sort of fully gigging again. Great. Which is good. So I've got loads this month. Um, and then I, I still do want to do, I do want to do a special. Mm. But I'm under no illusions that, like, it'll be a slog for me to sell. So I had to cancel that last sunflower because there's literally no tickets sold. So I need to get myself out there again. And start. You, you need to fucking do just a, a clip every two days and remind people that you're alive. So yeah. I need to start doing that. But I do want to do a wee special. Um, I have an idea for it and how I want it to look and all. I just don't know where 
at the minute because we had spoke about Lavery's, but then everybody's there's about five or six. No, no. So you can do it, Lavery's, but uh, I would definitely like Shane did La Lavery's and like dressed it differently, you know, mm -hmm. so it looked different. Yeah, you probably need to do something like that. Uh, I still, I still want the big limelight. That's kind of I know that's like a real big ask for me, like, but I know because I had it booked. And then obviously when my dad passed on, I had to cancel it. And so it feels like it's unticked because he was supposed mm. to come up for it too. So I feel like I, I do want to, plus I've always just loved that room. Yeah. I've done that room. It's either been opening for you or those charity gigs we did with everybody yeah. or like the, one of the first general banter lives I did was in the limelight with just me, you and Aaron. And that was great. Like I always just love that room as much as I love the small room too. So I would, I would like to do that this year, but it's a big ask, I think. It's not a big ask. Yeah. Well, it's more like just go uh, over to Woodsy's page there and follow him. A folly. And hit that wee bell so that when he puts up a poster for the fucking limelight, you buy a bastard and take it. Can you do that, do that on Instagram? Can you? Yeah. Like get like. Because I I accidentally hit it on some guy. I accidentally hit a button. Oh well. For some one of these fucking you know like business mentor type guys. Yeah. And it, it it would send me a notification like such and such has posted. Oh really? Yeah. We could do that now. Do that the man here. While we're at uh, it, uh, the do it for fucking mine. <laughs> do it for calls. For Hit sure. that bell. I'm sick. I'm sick of my Instagram going like you've uh, interacted with you know seven hundred and forty two thousand people <laughs> yeah. in the last week, and you're like, hey, you follow me. Yeah. Buy a ticket. Does it does it tell you how many don't follow you but have engaged? With yeah. Your really? It's the same. That must be depressing if it's like nobody's followed you. Not that depressing. I don't really <laughs> nah, give a fuck. I know you're you're all right. Like. I feel like I'm just fighting Instagram every day. I can't I can't get verified. I'm not paying for it, but I'm like, have I to send you evidence of other pages with my stuff on it? Can I do that? Would that make you verify me? You fucking bastard. So you can't be verified without paying. What do you have to? You can. Yeah, that's the way it was for years. You had yeah. to sort of apply for it. Yeah, but it just keeps knocking me back. Yeah. And I can't, like, the last four clips you've you've done for me, Dave, can't get them on TikTok. That Hasbro one, they're like, you're, you're harassment and bullying. And you're like, shut up, the fuck, would you? Apparently TikTok has got a lot worse in that respect from what I hear. But they're getting very strict. Yeah, I can't talk But obviously, it. someone flicking their bean whilst getting out of a pool slowly, grand. Oh, totally. But you... Yeah. Oh, so, just, yeah, yeah, like, you know, Ukrainian soldiers being, like, killed with a grenade. Yeah. Oh, no problem. People fucking... Frying live dogs in China. Yeah. Fine, yeah. man. They were fine. delicious, so we enjoyed they them. Were, they were nice. They, <laughs> they were lovely. You know. Uh, <laughs> today I'm in, uh, welcome <laughs> to NI Munchies. Today I'm in Yulin, China, watching this fucking chihuahua yes, getting I, put in a bop. I'm eating a satay Rottweiler. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Got a teriyaki labradoodle on the way here. Yeah. In a bow bun. Yeah. <laughs> By Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh my days right we're gonna get out of here uh follow woodsy on all the things i do yeah and uh make sure you go to patreon.com forward slash general banter podcast to hear us answer some lovely questions that you've sent in thanks Appreciate um it. lovely yeah we're, we're on the regular now on uh on patreon we've got, we've, good. we've got a system going we're flying beautiful see you next week anyway up the rock.